Good to see everyone. It's so lovely today. It's such a perfect day. Such a perfect environment and such a perfect program that's going to happen here and will enhance, continue to happen. Uh, I'm Shonda Scott, CEO and founder of 360 Total Concept, and we are part of the AECOM program management team for Peralta Community College District's bond program. I'll be the MC tonight in place. I'm tag teaming for Mark Johnson, so I'm happy to be here to celebrate this wonderful opportunity to show how voter approved bond dollars are being reinvested back into the community and also help exactly also helping to improve the higher education of students in Peralta Community College District. So I just want everyone to give yourselves a round of applause for that milestone in the bond program. Uh, but before we start the program in respect for the land acknowledgement, I would like for Merritt College Intertribal Inter Student Union to come to provide the land acknowledgement. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me here today. I'm grateful to Abba Binitli, the creator, for bringing us all here in a good way to celebrate this exciting time and pay respects to the original stewards of this land. This is, has always been, and will always be the traditional land of the confederated villages of the Lashan Ohlone. You and I are in Huichin, a territory that encompasses six Bay Area cities, Oakland, Alameda, Berkeley, Emeryville, Albany, and Piedmont. Huichin is one of 45 or more traditional territories in the San Francisco Bay Area. The Lashan people have survived genocidal attempts by three concurrent governments on their territory, the Spanish Mission period, the Mexican land grant rancho period, and now the ongoing occupation by what is called the United States. The Lashan Ohlone people continue to live within their territories, raising families, tending to the land, bringing back language, song, and ceremony. We look to the Lashan with reverence as they work to rematriate this unceded land. With the building of this site, we set the intention that the traditional knowledge of the Lashan will be respected and the impacts of colonialism be acknowledged. We encourage the institution of Merritt College to incorporate a permanent recognition of the Lashan people, be it a historical plaque, a mural, an ongoing fundraiser, something with meaning and importance. We in the Intertribal Student Union are proud to be working towards implementing a California Native Garden on campus to serve as both a ceremonial and educational space. We encourage all of us, I encourage all of us here today as individuals to take this offering beyond words and participate in a good way. Paying your Shumi land tax, volunteering, or implementing change in your community and at your workplace to support this incredible work of rematriation. Thank you for your presence here today. Chukmashki. Thank you. So to start our program today, we will have a welcome from the Board of Trustees President, President Delphine Delphin Polk. Thank you. Good morning. I'm very short. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. That should be fine. I'll hold it. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. My name is Diana Delphin Polk. I am the president of the Peralta College's Board of Trustees. And on behalf of my colleagues and the Chancellor, it is my honor to be here to celebrate this wonderful occasion. Um, the possibilities for the horticulture degrees and programs here at Merritt College are endless. And having state-of-the-art facilities and classrooms and areas in which the students will work yeah, um, is a huge part of ensuring that our students have the tools necessary to succeed. And I want to thank everyone on behalf of the district, um, for everyone who made this building, this programs, these degrees, 
and this area possible, and especially to the voters who continue to support our students, staff, and faculty here at Peralta. Thank you so much. Thank you, and I just want to acknowledge a few thank yous. Uh, Congresswoman Barbara Lee, Assembly Assemblywoman Mia Bonta, Supervisor Nate Miley, Mayor Tao, City Council Member Kevin Jenkins, who is here and will speak in a few minutes. Thank you. And is a former Board of Trustee of Peralta Community College District and now a City Council Member for the City of Oakland. The Citizens Bond Oversight Committee, for all their work they're doing, they're a group of volunteers that handle the bond oversight. Uh, AECOM, Program Manager, BRJ and Associates, Team 360, 360 Total Concept, Kitchell, Nolan Tam Architects, and Thompson Builders, who is here and will lead the tour uh, up at the site. So let's give them all a round of applause. It's, and there's many others that are working on this bond program, but that's specific to this project. So now I will have former Board of Trustee and City Council member Kevin Jenkins provide a few remarks. Good morning, Peralta family. Good morning. I see you guys burning up out there, so I'm going to be brief. <laughs> I snuck over there to the shade. I am a retired Peralta trustee after two years, and I am now the city council member for District 6 right here in Oakland. Uh, it's so humbling for me to be here because I'm a for former student of Peralta, and it's because of the investments that taxpayers made in Peralta that I'm standing here before you today as a city council member. So I'm going to take a little time. Um, to give credit to President Johnson, and it, I hope this isn't being recorded, but he is the best president in all the crowds. Come on, give it up. You know what my cash app is, right? <laughs> so, so he, he's fearless. He deeply cares about the students. He is up late at night sending long emails that I don't do not read. Uh, but just thinking about ways that our district can improve, ways that we can continue to get more students in here, and ways that we can serve students in different ways. Now, by a raise of hands, when's the last time, or who's been to a Blockbuster in the last year? <laughs> last five years. Exactly, right? So we have to prepare our students for the careers of tomorrow. And by investing in this horticulture center, we are preparing our students for state-of-the-art facilities so that they can get in careers that are going to be uh, serving to them and their families and serving to us in this region. And so I just want to thank the Peralta family. I want to thank the voters that approved this measure. And I just want to thank everyone who's here today. And let's get to work. And speaking of work, now we'll have a project overview by Sharon Serrano, who is the program manager with AECOM for the Peralta Community College Bond District Program. So she'll give a, just an overview of this project and what you will expect to see when it's finished and what's happening now. I'm gonna, once again, I'm short, so I'm gonna pull that down. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us. This is a long time coming. We've been waiting for this for a while and for the construction group We've been here a lot shorter than everyone else in the bond program that's been here longer and waiting for this. So thank you for your patience and joining us now. And so for the program itself, for us, we started in 2020 for AACOM. We brought on board Kitchell, construction management firm in 2021 with us right now over there, the group. Um, they are running the day-to-day -day goings on on the campus as well as we have Thompson Builders over there. They are our GC and they are gonna make this program successful and we are gonna have buildings that are updated and ready to move in, hopefully quite soon. I'm not gonna lock us up on dates now, guys. Um, but for the most part, and then of course we have Nolan Tam who's been here the longest and they've dedicated a large group of architects 
here to make this program as successful as it will be. And we're updating for ADA uh, updates as well. We are also going technology forward on this program because there has been a lot of technology um, and safety, meaning cameras and break-ins and so forth. So we're hoping to resolve all of those issues in this program. And um, I wish everyone good tidings in the sense of this program. And hopefully this program is going to be what you guys dreamed of it to be how many years ago? Five, ten years ago in the sense of state funding. I know, I know. <laughs> Ten, <laughs> ten. <laughs> but thank you guys once again for your patience and we'll see you in say a couple of years and hopefully this project is going to be something to behold yeah it already is too if the, we have fact sheets at the table if you haven't received one that tells you the information on the project like it's a 34 million dollar investment of the voter approved bond dollars uh, this bond program is now a billion dollar bond program. So the investment will just reimagine all the campuses throughout the throughout the community college district. So yes, again, thank you to the voters and there's so much more to do. So we're happy to celebrate these milestones. And when you go up and see what's actually behind this fence, you'll be so impressed. Even though it's not completed, there's so much that's happening there that you'll be able to see the vision that is on this rendering right here, and that will be the finished product once everything is completed. So next, without further ado, we have the best president in Peralta Community College District. You heard it here first. And oh, I guess that goes without introduction because you, you, you're standing. Dr. David Johnson was give remarks and just some, oh, we, we don't have you on the time limit oh, right no, now. Hey, so no. we'll give you remarks <laughs> for it and welcome you to his lovely college campus. Oh, you. you all are definitely spoiling me this morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, so I just want to say welcome to the Peralta leadership. Some might still be sprinkled, elected officials, some of them left, community, family, and friends. So. Just as we met uh, several months ago to bear witness to the groundbreaking of the Child Development Center, we're gathered here this morning to behold and contemplate the commencement of another grand endeavor. So the Merritt Horticulture Complex, let's talk about it. It's the consummation of what our faculty, staff, administrators, and students believe was possible for this institution. And that belief was that Merritt College could build a complex befitting of the amazing program that we've established, as well as position ourselves as leaders in this field for years to come. I believe this project ensures that we will do that and we will be that. But something this significant, this special, this groundbreaking, it doesn't occur by happenstance. In fact, it's the consequence of intentional and focused purpose and effort. So let me take this opportunity to thank the, Com the Peralta Community College Board of Trustees for their support. And I also want to recognize the district leadership. I don't, the Chancellor's not here. Oh, I see, I see Vice Chancellor Smith coming. Hey, Etheria, hey. <laughs> we want to recognize her uh, for the direction and guidance that they provided in stewarding this along. We've talked a little bit about our partners, um, 360 Total Concept, ACOM, BRJ, Kitchell, Nolan Tam, and Thompson Builders. We want to say thank you for your assistance. But I would be remiss if I did not also acknowledge the backing that we have received from not only our elected officials, but the largest of the Oakland, the Alameda County voters, um, who in their wisdom recognize the importance of passing a bond major measure that made all of this possible. Finally, I need to bring it all back to the folks for whom this project has always been a labor of love. Molly Sealand. <laughs> so 
Stu Winchester. Yeah. Mia Hill. And Chris Graham and Laura Forlan. We thank all of you for working in the field long enough to cultivate it. And hopefully today is a foretaste of the fruits of your labors. So with that, I'll simply say, um, end by saying, as I always do on occasions like this, oh, happy day. And call to the podium, Laura Forlan and Chris Graham. Thanks, David. And um, this is uh, the third incarnation of the horticulture department as I know it. The department started in 1964 when Merritt College was down on what was then Grove Street. And I remember I was a student at Merritt College in 1968 through 1971, and I remember seeing it down there too. Second incarnation came right around 1980 when the facility that was just, is just being removed right now was, was established. And I started teaching here not long after that. And this third uh, incarnation is coming up right now, and it's a really, really exciting thing for everybody. Yes. And um, throughout this process, we have been so grateful to work with an amazing design team, Nolan Tam. Yes, please. They, they held many community meetings. They um, met with faculty, staff, and students to do design review, to take a look at the design and the progress and get weigh-in, um, buy-in from all of us and get our input. And what was really incredible is they listened to that input and made changes that reflected those are sort of our desires and wishes for the, for the, for the, whole, pro the whole building and uh, design, as well as Kitchell, who has been amazing throughout this whole process. So we're very grateful for that and uh, so excited to see the eventual outcome of all of that. Uh, during the design process, um, I was teaching a landscape design class and used part of the, the new facility that Nolan Town is designing as a project. And two of our students came up with a courtyard design, which is very, very close to what's going to be put in. So we're very happy about that, too. Uh, the new facility is going to be s just so wonderful compared to what we've had before. We've had a decent facility before. Now we're going to have bigger classrooms. We want to be cramming people in and having standing room only because I'll just be the, one of the first to say we get huge enrollments up at our college. Um, we're going to have better greenhouses. We're going to have um, a student center with a library and a place where students can meet and eat dinner before classes and, and get to um, basically get to inter intermingle with each other. Wonderful landscape, which will be essentially a teaching ground. So everything about this new facility is, is really, really exciting, and I may have to forestall my retirement until it actually opens, so I actually get to enjoy it. So, th yes, yeah, so there's also going to be great indoor-outdoor flow, which is so important, obviously, for a horticulture program. Uh, we spend a lot of time outdoors doing labs and so forth. We're going to have a, a, a much better and usable tool room space and a head house for labs. Um, so just amazing lab facilities. And I think just ultimately we feel like the new building is going to put us on a par with the best horticulture facilities in the state. So we're really grateful for the project. Thank you. give them another round of applause yeah. for Peralta Community College District for the vision and the foresight and all that's happening and of being good steward of the voter approved bond dollars. So I will now bring up Vice Chancellor Etheria Smith who oversees the entire facilities department, Department of General Services and the billion dollar bond program that's funding this, part, partially funding this uh, amazing project. Vice Chancellor Theria Smith, and following that, we will have the plaque ceremony. Thank you Thank so you. much. Uh, sorry, I'm tardy, but uh, um, 
issues at the district. So, and I appreciate all of you for coming out today. So thank you very much. You know, I, I want to thank uh, the contractors, the vendors, all the trades folks. And I want to thank Nolan Town for the years, the, the, the years and the faculty working with Nolan Town for all the years it has taken to get this project up and going. And when I mean years, this was one of my first things that I had to do when I walked in the door. And that was years ago. And I don't want to date myself, but it's been a long time coming. So, you know, Meredith, thank you. Thank you so much. You know, this, this project, it uh, replaces the existing horticulture uh, that's over 30 years old. And the old facilities, it just doesn't address the increased enrollment and the um, what the project and the program brings to this campus. So we want to thank the horticulture department and Merritt and everyone, Molly and for years, Molly. <laughs> I was going to say, I, you have, uh, some of you who are new to the district, you have no idea how long this has taken to get, there were three projects that we wanted to get off the ground when I walked in the door at Peralta, and this is one of them. So Mer Meredith and Molly and I became fast friends. <laughs> uh, it is one of the more popular career programs offered on the campus, and it generates roughly 3,000 um, wish and over 200 FTEs annually. It's located in a remote area, but it addresses, uh, it provides adequate space for the horticulture program and the plant um, propagation that's needed. Um, there's going to be larger, well, there will be lecture rooms that are more appropriate to your programs. There'll be instructional spaces that are more appropriate to your program. So, and as a result, I'm just looking forward for this program and uh, Merritt and Peralta to continue to grow. So why don't we move on to giving the plaques and awarding and thanking everyone who's here today. So thank you. Thank you. Okay, now we will have the plaque presentation. Right. Okay, the department chairs, Chris and Laura. Let me get in the middle of this one right Okay. <laughs> one more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yay. 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 All right. We also want to give a special thanks to Marie, who is the vice chancellor of Para of America. Vice President. Vice Oh, she's like, did I get a <laughs> right, Vice President of Merritt. Did you get a picture, oh, Sharon? I'm sorry. <laughs> and all her team in helping us put all the logistics together for today. So Nolan Tam, Architects, is there a representative yeah. from Nolan yeah. Tam? Please come up. Okay. Let's use that banner. Kitchell okay. Construction. Kitchell's representatives, will you come up for your photo and plaque presentation? Thank you. And Thompson Builders, you might as well make your way up as well. Thompson. Yeah, he's Thompson Builder. So that was Kitcho. Now Thompson. Yeah, I got a little Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much. Oh, wait, your other colleagues wanted to come up for their photos. They were trying to be bashful. And Mia, Mia and Molly.
<laughs> so everybody has legs. Congresswoman Barbara Lee's office is, say, oh, come on up, thank you. Cesar, thank you, give you a plaque as well for the Congresswoman. At the same time, from a few months ago. Who also has a building named after Congresswoman Barbara Lee here on campus. Appreciate you, sir. So now we have the time to prepare for the site tour and then also the shovel toss. So the plaques, <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that, the dirt toss with the shovel. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so uh, those who have plaques, um, I need you all to come back up and prepare. If you're going to go up to the site, you have to have closed toed shoes and we have safety gear for you, helmets and also vests and glasses as well. So um, I'll ask Thompson Builders to come up so you'll be able to start directing people, taking them up to the top. And anyone else, we also have uh, extra for you to come up and go up. You have to have all the safety gear on the right tier because it's actually a live construction site. So we have to follow all the guidelines. Um, we're in the area that's not an active construction site, so you're fine here, but to go actually on the dirt where construction's happening, you have to have all the proper safety gear. And we're going to take some photos of the dirt toss uh, with the... Soil. Soil toss. Soil. Oh, oh, this is horticulture. Okay, and then I thank you. I'm learning too. So it's horticulture. It's soil. Okay. See, my mom is a horticulturer in my family. I'm totally learning. So I may come and take some classes because I really want to understand it. So soil <laughs> toss here. In the construction world, is, is dirt. So in horticulture, we're just tossing soil today. So yeah, we are elevating already. So everyone, start getting your, um, I'm going to get you. OK, well, then you're good. So if you're not, that um, it concludes our program. If you're not going to go up and see the work that's happening there, uh, we also have refreshments here that were provided by Laney College uh, Culinary Program. Uh, we do believe in recycling all the money back into the local community, including the Peralta Community College District. So thank you all for coming. Congratulations. And we hope to see you at the next groundbreaking because there's going to be a few more. There's a lot happening here, and this money's being reinvested back in the community. Thank you.